Hi there, my, and welcome to New Zealand Birds Got Talent. Tamanui here is looking for the perfect partner to make beautiful music with, and we have a fantastic lineup of acts ready to take on the challenge. Tamanui, welcome, and can you tell us what you're looking for tonight? Tēnā koutou. I am very excited about seeing all these acts and hopefully finding one that has the star quality I'm looking for to help me make sure that our song is around for generations. Ah, kia ora Tamanui. Now let's meet our judges. <laughs> Tui. Kereru. And of course, Tamanui. Now it's time for our first act. Normally he can be seen at night on the forest floor, but today he is scaling the dizzy heights of stardom. I give you North Island Brown Kiwi. <laughs> ah, that was wonderful. Let's see what our judges think. I think you have an iconic song there, Kiwi. But it sounds like you're singing through your nose a bit to me, I'm afraid. Oh, thank you, Tui. Now we have a bird which is already a household name. But can they bring something a bit special tonight? Kereru, what did you think of that? Very pretty. A lovely song. I agree, but I don't think you have the star quality I'm looking for. OK, on to our next act. Now we have a real showman to entertain us. Can he wow our judges? Kapai, that was fantastic. You have it all. It's a big yes from me. I'm sorry, it was just too pitchy for me. Great song, great act, but we have more to see yet. More pork is a night owl as a rule, but he is about to take the spotlight to prove he is a New Zealand bird with talent. Nice song, but will it be enough? It was a very limited act, to be honest. I agree. Not what we are looking for at all. Well, now we come to the last act of the night. Can this gorgeous girl catch the judges' eyes and impress them with her song? What a bird, what an act! Tamanui, have you found your star? I have. Kamo Te Wihi. That was beautiful. Truly beautiful. You are my New Zealand Birds Got Talent winner. Let's hope Tamanui has a hit on his wings and soon we will hear the song throughout Taranaki for generations to come. Poor Marie!